the first time I felt like I've been taken care of by a medical doctor since I got hurt. It's not healing. Nothing's going like we thought it would. And it's so bad. I'm in pain all the time. There's an end in sight and I'll be getting better because this just has been so annoying. <laughs> Previously on the Cooper Scoop. I was trying to escape the spot. I think he was crying. And I took my shoes off because I didn't want wet shoes. And I just slipped. And it is sprained. And it hurts really bad. <laughs> Metal in me forever. Oh. I go through metal, metal detectors there at worst could it be? She's doing the dishes to give me a break and she's probably in a lot of pain right now. What are you doing? I don't have hands. Oh my gosh. Oh my wow. head. Look at that. This is still just healing. I can't feel any of this. The incision wasn't quite healed as, as the way it should have been. So it's just like an open wound. I just, it's a lot of pain. You're back? Yeah, you won't believe what the doctor said. What'd he say? Oh, um, you know, that I don't have to use these anymore. What? <laughs> no way! No more crutches. Oh yeah, oh yeah, no more crutches. <laughs> That's okay, awesome. I still got this. Let's see you walk around. Well, it still is a little stiff, you know? I haven't been walking on it for a few weeks. That's true. But I think I'll get used to it. That's true. Hey, I'm so happy. This is such good news. Hip hip hooray! She's home! Hey. You from here? He's sick. He's got a fever. We're gonna get everyone in Arizona sick. Watch out, Arizona. Here we come. <laughs> We're bringing the Black Plague. Do you need mommy to hold you? Everyone needs to be held. Oh, I love it, Meredith. Best there it comes! Oh, for like three of me. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, yeah. I don't know how I can handle it though. <laughs> well, seems like everyone's sick. Ephraim's sick again. I just took his fever and he's got a 100.1 fever. Just gave him some ibuprofen. I am just getting over what these guys have had. Jeff, still sick. Crazy. Russ, he's not sick. I guess it's just me, Jeff and Ephraim. And kind of Sharice, since her leg is still healing. Ephraim's been sleeping here for the past couple hours. So we're off to the wound specialist. I've been seeing my doctor weekly since my surgery and he knows that it's kind of out of his hands when it comes to the incision. It just isn't healing very well. So he's referred me to a wound specialist and it's headed up there, we're just barely gonna make it on time. But last night was pretty crazy, to say the least. Yeah. So little Ephraim, he almost never gets sick. And he was throwing up and a lot of kids when they get sick, they just kind of get cuddly and sweet. Ephraim gets mad, like angry. Like you'd think that you had inflicted that pain on him. He's, he just screams and cries like so mad. He responds really well to music. He really likes music. So I've learned that if I can turn music on, it will always calm him down. He just kind of relaxes. And if I like play with his hair just right, kind of rubbing up here, he slowly calms down. So we were hoping he would get a couple hours of sleep and we, we can count our blessings because he slept from midnight to four. And then he woke up and had a little dry heaving after that. And he kept ibuprofen down, so it brought his fever down was good and slept with us, which we have a rule, we never let our kids sleep with us, but we made an exception last night because he was just so sick. And this morning, Jeffrey's voice is still gone and we're kind of struggling to know if we'll be able to leave for Arizona this next weekend because um, we don't want to bring 
bring sickness with us or deal with sick kids in our camping trailer. Still crossing our fingers that Meriden and, and Russell and I will continue to be healthy. Anyway, that's what's going on this morning. But it's supposed to snow, so that's kind of exciting. I think we'll be able to build a Christmas spirit today. And, all right, we'll keep you updated. Looks like winter's here. All right, so I'm here at the Lund Clinic. It's a pretty cool place. I've been meeting my CNA and he washed up my cut for me and that felt so good. It hasn't really been washed yet. And um, the, the nurse practitioner, and she came in and just smiled and she's like, we're gonna take good care of you. And uh, the CNA is so friendly and his saying here is, don't get discouraged. Things will work out, they always do. And it's just a really uplifting atmosphere here. It's a newer hospital, and I just feel like they're going to take good care of me. There's an end in sight, and I'll be getting better because this just has been so annoying. <laughs> Steve's out in the car with the kids, and I think they're going to be seeing me every week. I guess we'll find out, but he's like, I think we'll be done with you by Christmas. I'm like, like eight visits because it's like takes our entire morning to come here so well steve's calling me all right so i just finished with the wound clinic and this is the first time i felt like i've been taken care of by a medical doctor since i got hurt really explained things clearly but she was not demeaning and she was like you're gonna be okay and we're gonna take care of you and there's a lot of um problems with the incision, but they're, um, they just know what they're doing, and they were so clear and kind, and just stretched their schedules to get me in before we leave for Arizona, so we don't have to change our plans. So they're coming in early, so that they can take care of me before we leave. Anyway, I'm just grateful for people who are in the medical clinic and care about people these people care about me they really do and they're gonna take good care of me so anyway we're gonna head home hopefully Steve survived while I was in there for two hours are you sick? Yeah. does your tummy hurt? no let me give you a kiss like this you feel so hot oh I mentioned earlier I went to the wound specialist today and they are doing a whole new procedure on how to take care of my incision and it hurts like the dickens and I just feel like I say that all the time and I'm sorry I always hear me say it hurts it hurts but I'm talking like I'm doing something and then all of a sudden shooting pain up my leg like it hurts so bad so bad that I'm like it hurts it hurts and I can't believe some people have pain like this all the time and if you have pain like how I'm feeling, I'm so sorry. I am gaining so much compassion for you because I've never experienced this before. And I really am hoping it will end soon. But I'll just show you because it's pretty um, interesting to me how they did it. Before we were putting kind of an iodine on it and this like um, yellow strip of Neil Sporn like thing and then putting an ace bandage on it and then just, or sorry, gauze on it and then wrapping a gauze bandage on it and then an ace bandage. Now look what it looks like. Probably the correct way. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, you don't have a sock? I'm like, I couldn't fit a sock over the ace bandage. So they gave me this sock. They're so nice. <laughs> Can I try them on? Whoa, whoa, watch out guys, watch out. Whoa. So, now, That's crazy. They, they shaved around it. Yes, I haven't shaved this area of my body for a long time. And then they cleaned it and got every kind of thing all around here so that this would stick really well to my skin. And then they put this like honey stuff. Ah! Careful. Russ, you little monkey like, nugget. I've never seen that before, Mom. Uh. Did you hurt your feelings? So they put this honey stuff on it. It's a medical honey that um, it's hard but as it feels the warmth of my skin, it will slowly gel into and soften the skin. So that the next time I go in, she had to go in and um, scrape a lot of dead skin and gross stuff out of the incision. Um, 
But as opposed to the doctor, she numbed it and she was so nice. All right, so the difference between the orthopedic doctor and the wound specialist is I think orthopedic doctors are really good at surgery, looking at x-rays and things like that. Wound specialists are, this is the vision of what we have. This is how you're going to heal. And um, this is how you're supposed to clean it and stuff. And the, the orthopedic doctor showed me how to dress my wound and everything. But there were so many potential, it could get infected. Because like my husband, Steven's washing his hands and he's, you know, cleaning it every day and redressing it. But now, um, as you can see, they put this plastic wrap around it. And this is water resistant. It's not waterproof, but I can shower with it. And um, like, it's not like I'm gonna go swimming or anything, but it's completely clean and I'm actually not supposed to redress it until um, the doctor sees it on Monday. And this doctor, Russell wants to touch it so bad. Russell, stop. I'm like, ah! Anyway, I think it's gonna be a long road for this healing and um, I, I guess I'm just glad that I'm in better hands than I was in before. And if you've had an experience where you had surgery and your doctor isn't impressed with what he sees right after, I would, I would um, encourage you to ask your doctor to make a referral to a wound specialist because orthopedic doctors are probably not the best people to work on your wound, but a wound specialist is, and they can really take care of you. So I feel like I'm in good hands, and hopefully the pain will subside. While I was with the wound specialist, uh, she was kind of making an analysis of why things don't look so good. She says, your body does not like sutures. So if you're like me and didn't know that, sutures are stitches under the skin. So my surgeon wanted to give me a better scar and so very kindly he did the stitches under the skin in order to avoid the train track looking scars. And um, But my body just really hates it. And so that's probably one of the reasons there might be a rash and possibly infection, it's very red. Thank you.